Who doesn't love southern fried chicken? And I love it spicy. So what I'm gonna do is start with the marinade. And it's gonna be buttermilk based, but I'm gonna add a lot of flavor to that buttermilk. So I'm gonna start by toasting some chilies. I'm gonna add four guajillo chiles. And by now you should know it's subtle, it's bright, and it's just not spicy at all. However, the chiles de árbol, these ones are super spicy, but they have this spicy element with a lot of flavor. It's smoky, it's rustic, it's charred, it's deep. So I'm gonna mix these two. So I have my comal and I'm toasting the four guajillos and the four chiles de árbol. And this is a basic Mexican technique when you want to bring back to life those dried chilies. So now we're waking them up and you can see the fumes that are starting to rise. So even though the chile is dry, they're not toasted and dry and brittle and we need to get them to the toasted stage so that we can grind them. You see the color will change from the bright red in the guajillo to a darker brown. And in the chile de árbol, it's just gonna toast. That's good. We want that toasted. When you just toast your chiles and you wanna grind them, like I wanna do right now, don't do it immediately. Because when you toast your chile, the oils release. So the chiles actually won't be that dry. You have to let them dry for a second after you toast them. And I'm gonna start flavoring my buttermilk. I have three cups of buttermilk. And the buttermilk is going not only to give my chicken a tangy taste, but because it is acidic, it's also going to tenderize the meat. I'm adding a teaspoon of salt, some freshly ground black pepper, and it goes with the chiles. Mexican chiles love the company of black pepper. Half a cup of chipotle chiles in adobo and their sauce. The chipotle chile in adobo, I think is one of the ingredients that we use the most at home because it's an ingredient that is so complex in its flavors. You're adding sweet, you're adding spicy, rustic, smoky, tangy. And the last thing I'm gonna add is this ground mixture of my dried chiles. And now that I toasted them, they'll crumble and now I can break them into my spice grinder. You can do this with a food processor, you can do this with your blender, you can also put these chiles in a little plastic bag and just roll your rolling pin right on top of them or hit them with a skillet and they will also grind. Okay. And these are ready. I'm gonna add one tablespoon and you can see how pretty it is, the colors. Okay, so the mixture looks beautiful. So I have a whole cut up chicken. I'm gonna add some of the buttermilk mixture so that it's in the bottom. Then I'm gonna start adding my chicken. I think the first time that I tried the American in the US fried chicken was when we moved to Dallas. They had really good fried chicken. And you can just start to think of what this is gonna do to this chicken because it has the tangy and salty buttermilk taste. And it has the three different kinds of chilies. You can marinate these for just a couple of hours, but if you can marinate it for 48 hours, it's gonna be even better. My chicken has been marinating about four hours. And now I'm gonna make the breading and I want the breading to have as much flavor and as much of a punch as the marinade. So I'm adding three cups of flour, a teaspoon of paprika, which is gonna give it like that smoky taste without being hot. I'm adding something that is definitely gonna add a lot of heat, which is my remaining ground guajillo and chile de árbol. So I have about two tablespoons here two teaspoons salt, about a half a teaspoon of freshly ground pepper, 
can check my oil and it should be around 365, so anywhere between 360 and 370. And Alan, dame amor. Vamos a hacer Southern style fried chicken. Very nice. I think my favorite chicken part is the chicken wing. The chicken wing? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. You too? Yeah, because it's yeah, it has the most flavor. And the chicken so wing is like it's fun to eat. Yeah. You get to lick the bones. You get exactly. Yeah. You don't normally make uh, fried chicken or fried fried foods. What's the deal? What uh, <laughs> what changed, huh? We're doing a first. Very nice. We're <laughs> doing more Mex Americana things as our home gets more Mex Americana style. Like, go slow yeah. and don't just make any clash. Okay. Please, slow. Don't drop it. Slow, slow, slow. Yes, saca la manita. No tocas el aceite, ¿verdad? No. Yay! Alan, can you pass me that um, yeah. drying rack? Because what we're going to do now, which is also very different from what we do, is we're going to fry the chicken until it's brown and crispy. And then we're going to take it out, put it in here, and put it in the oven, which is at 350, mm -hmm. while we continue frying, so that the chicken really fully cooks. Okay, I've never heard of this. this is, I know, okay, cool. this, you know, there's things to learn in the US. Yeah. <laughs> you, I know you love American style fried chicken. You love those sandwiches. Oh, I love fried chicken sandwiches. Yeah, mira ya como cambió el color de la aceite. Wow. I, that looks Alan. so crispy. That looks so Oh my crispy. god, look at this! <laughs> Did you see how hard oh it is? Oh my god, it's perfect. You could hear the click. I know, you can hear the crack. Ooh, so. Mmm. Okay, let's put that on the side and let's add the rest of this chicken. I can still hear it sizzling. I know, it's here. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Music. Okay, as it continues to sizzle, we're gonna make a habanero honey. Okay. Okay? So we need a half a cup of honey, quarter cup, chiles habaneros, and we can add some of that juice too. Yeah. Mas? I think that's good. Okay. These, we just wanna cook here over medium low heat, just until it mixes, the honey is gonna start getting all that. Habanero it's gonna become taste. really thick, no? It's gonna get, so if we cooked it a long time, it would get thicker and it would condense, but we just want the habanero to be forced to infuse to the honey. Okay. <laughs> this looks insane. I know. <laughs> you want with the honey? Of course. It's like so intensely sweet and so intensely spicy yeah. at the same time. Like my brain is going, ah, I don't know what's going on, but give me more, give me more. No. Don't tell your brothers that we ate the wings. I won't. <laughs>